Shine bright like a diamond Shine bright like a diamond Hey everybody! So today I'm doing a very fun video, for me at least, because I have so much that I want to talk about and I feel like my mind is going in so many different directions. But the first thing that I want to talk about is my raw vegan living foods class that I had this weekend. It went really, really well and I'm so happy and I got to upload that video of it. Finally I got to film it and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I only uploaded part one because there only is a part one. My camera only records for 30 minutes at a time. So I only got to record as much as my camera would. So I um, hope that you guys understand that. But the second half of the class was kind of just Q&A and um, it went really well too. So I'm so excited for it and I'm so glad that I did it. Because to be honest, I am definitely not a public speaker. My whole life I have just I mean, I have 10 planets in Capricorn, right? So look up Capricorn and um, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. <laughs> and I'm just, I've always been just very introverted and like I have this like shell around me and only so many people can like come into my life and I'm just, I don't, I'm not a public speaker, right? But I dug my heels in and I've done two of these classes now because I feel like that God wants me to do them, to be honest. And whenever you're anointed by God to do something, he gives you the ability. So I'm pretty much planning on doing one of these classes every two months. I feel like that that's a good kind of time in between and I just think it's going to be really good. So I had so many people ask me so many questions at this class and it really like snapped me out of this because sometimes I feel like that I say the same thing over and over and over again and that you guys are just getting sick of it. But going to this class and seeing that people really were interested in it and were asking me questions that that, you know, I haven't thought about that, you know, people really want to know. It really kind of snapped me into this space like, you know, Victoria, not everyone knows as much as you do about raw living foods. And so sometimes I think, okay, it's just common sense. You just eat plants and then you get healthy. But not everyone has been taught this message. Not everyone understands it. And not even everyone has um, heard about veganism, you know? So I'm going to keep on trucking on, trucking on, and trucking on and spreading this message of not only veganism and raw veganism, but detoxification. Like to me, detoxification is what lights my fire the most. Like I can talk about raw living foods all day too, don't get me wrong, but it's the detoxification part of it that seriously gets me drived up. And if I could do anything in this world, it would be like working at the Dr. Morse clinic and helping people in that way. Like taking people's symptoms that they have and targeting it back to the gland and organ and the system of the body that's causing it. Like that just, I just love it, right? So hopefully one of these days I can do an entire class solely on detoxification. I want to do another class solely on juicing and its benefits. Another class on smoothies. I think that there's so many directions I can go with this and it's just very fun, okay? So I'm also going to keep continuing doing these videos because I might not be reaching a huge population of people, but I am reaching uh, some of you guys and I get comments on every video that you guys enjoy my video. So I'm going to keep on tracking on. But the point of this video is that I got a question at my class from this beautiful lady who seemed so interested in what I was doing and I appreciated it very much. And she asked me, do you think that this diet can help with depression and your mental state? And that kind of caught me off guard because most people's questions are regarding the physical body. But when you get to questions regarding the mental body, that fascinates me very much as well. So my immediate answer was heck to the yes, okay? So most people's depression and anxiety, which is rampant in the society, people are struggling with this. Um, most of that, or all of it really, ties back to the adrenal glands. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I talk about the adrenal glands on almost a daily basis because I think that they are so just not talked about enough in the society and they're so important in the body and they affect so many things, including depression and anxiety. So most people have burnt out adrenals and I definitely was one of them and I'm still working on my adrenals and my kidneys because they go together like brother and sister on a daily basis, okay? So if you really want to figure out if you have adrenal issues, 
one surefire way is to look at your iridology, see if you have nerve rings. But some people don't have nerve rings and still have adrenal burnout. But for the most part, especially if you have really deep genetic weaknesses in the adrenal glands, like I do, I have nerve rings, um, you can really tell by looking at your eyes. But anyway, if you have depression or like brain fog and anxiety and all of these mental things, I would really, really suggest cleansing the colon. Of course, getting the adrenals up for sure. Like that's number one. But number two is the colon because this colon, our GI tract, large and small intestine, the stomach, it's all the hub of the body. And it's think of it as like the trunk of the tree. And when you go up the trunk, your head is up here, right? And when you clean this out, it's going to go up, it's going to clean the head out, it's going to get rid of the brain fog, and it's going to really help with depression and anxiety, in my opinion. But also, just going on a raw vegan living foods diet, and most importantly, detoxifying. I'm not saying eat a raw vegan uh, pie every day and then a salad with 50 cashews on it, because that's really just really fatty, and that's going to bog you down, and it's not going to allow the body to cleanse. But if you allow the body to cleanse, and specifically the colon, and you get the adrenals and the kidneys up, it's gonna help your mental state, like for sure. And I know this because I have experience with this. Now, I've never really dealt with depression or anxiety, maybe anxiety like on a small level, but I have had brain fog in my life. And I started detoxifying whenever I was in college. So I was studying a ton, and I was someone that put a lot of my focus into school and good grades. So I noticed that whenever I was on a high fruit raw vegan diet that my clarity got better. And so I've been doing this for over four years now and I feel like that my mental state is so clear and so quick that I can really feel it. Another thing that's kind of cool is that I, whenever I went raw, I had these bouts, you could say, of memories coming back to me that I hadn't thought about in years. And I know that people, I mean, no matter what diet you're on, sometimes you have memories that come back to you. But I'm telling you, I knew that it was because my brain was waking up. So I would have these memories from childhood that just came back to me at different points. And I wasn't thinking about anything that would make me remember them. I just, they just came back to me. So I know that along with, I know I talk about like the physical body from here down a lot. But along with that, my brain woke up too. I feel like that your brain can cleanse too. And I've heard that you have a whole other lymphatic system in the brain called the glymphatic system. So this whole thing is amazing and it fascinates me on a daily basis. And I don't plan on ever stopping talking about it because there are a lot of people with medical problems. A lot of people that could be completely healed with a diet change and with a detoxification journey that yes, could take several years, but isn't it worth it, you know? It took you 20, 30, 40 years to get to where you are now, so it's gonna take some time to peel away the onion, unveil the, la the layers, and cleanse yourself, but it's so worth it. And I don't plan on ever stopping my raw vegan journey. I'm just a little bit over four years into this, and I feel like that I'm just at the beginning, you know? And I'm so excited to see what comes my way. So that's my video. You can totally heal depression and anxiety and mental issues like brain fog and stuff like that. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys for subscribing, for clicking like and commenting because it inspires me to keep doing this. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much. Check out my website, victoriarawvegan.com, and I'll see you later. Bye.